Today we're going to do a full deep dive demo of Data Hero. Data Hero is the fastest and easiest way to get automated insights from your business data. We work with companies from small growing startups all the way to Fortune 500 companies to create charts, reports, and dashboards from the cloud services that they're using to run their businesses. So to get started, I'm just going to log in here with my credentials. And Data Hero is organized into three main categories. So first of all, there is the data component. And this is uh, where you would connect to the different cloud services or cloud storage solutions to pull into your data into the system. From that data, then, we can create charts. And there's a variety of different types of charts that you can create to really dive into the types of insights that you're looking for from your business data. And then the last component are dashboards. And dashboards are really just collections then of charts that you can easily organize and share with clients and teams. So to start with the data component, the first thing to do is to add a, a third party service. And we work with over 40 different third party cloud services from uh, marketing automation suites like a Marketo or a HubSpot Marketing to um, sales CRMs like a Pipedrive or a Salesforce or a HubSpot Sales, um, all the way down to customer success tools like a Zendesk or a Desk.com uh, or an Intercom for that matter. So once you go ahead and authenticate to one of these services, it's then pretty easy to go ahead and import your data. And you'll see the different data sets available here from, from connectors that I've already connected with. I'm going to go ahead and start with Smartsheet, um, and I'm going to head, go ahead and pull in a sales sheet that I had built in Smartsheet to manage some of my sales data in my sales pipeline. And data Hero, once you pull in that data, is going to do all of the heavy lifting here. It's going to do all the data normalization of automatically categorizing these different column types, as well as the whole data warehousing process. Uh, if everything looks good, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And you'll see, see that Data Hero actually suggests charts based on the underlying data that we've uploaded. So in this case, it's sales CRM data. Um, I might want to look at the different deal stages here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, click on that. And here we see a pie chart that's showing me the different deal stages and the number of deals that I have. Uh, you can always go ahead and change the color scheme here, either to a predefined color scheme or one that you define yourself, maybe according to a company style guide. And then it's pretty easy to add on from here. So I might actually say this is great, but instead of seeing the number of deals, I actually want to see the sales revenue associated with these deals. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that category in. And all of a sudden now I can see the amount of revenue that I can expect across these different deal stages. And I might do this again and say, this is great, but I actually want to see this now split out by salesperson. And you can see how very quickly now I can see for each different deal stage, uh, the different makeup of that revenue by salesperson, right? So this is actually deal stage by salesperson. 2018. And now if you wanted to do something different, Data Hero also makes it pretty easy to pivot your data. So I might actually say this is not what I want. And with one click, I can swap these two around and now look at deal stage by salesperson split out by the different deal revenue that they have through the different deal stages. And that might be what I want to do. Um, from there, of course, there's different types of charts that you can move this to. So uh, a variety of different types of charts that we, that we support, as well as the ability to then customize those legends and labels as you see fit. But if overall I'm happy with this chart, I'm going to go ahead and add it to a dashboard. In this case, adding it to my sales revenue dashboard. And as I mentioned before, then dashboards are really just a collection of charts. And as I flip through them, you can see I've got year over year plan data here in this sales chart, um, sales deals, 
uh, a funnel chart for my different uh, marketing funnels from subscribers to leads to MQLs to SQLs, quarterly deal revenue that I've segmented by quarter, uh, pie charts showing engagements. You can even do uh, geo charts that are going to allow you to dive into the underlying deal flow by zip code, if that's something that's interesting. Now, what a lot of our customers are doing here is they're actually exporting this dashboard directly to PDF, and it might be something that they're sharing to a client on a weekly basis or otherwise sending to, in a to-all to the sales team prior to a weekly pipeline review. That way everyone's looking at the same updated numbers and single source of truth uh, for every meeting. I'm just gonna go back into that data because there's a couple more things I wanna show you. Uh, the first is that you can schedule your data to be updated and we can support up to weekly, daily, and then up to hourly data refreshes. And this ensures that your data is always up to date. So whether that's again coming from a Salesforce or a HubSpot or coming from one of your other data sources, uh, by scheduling this you can ensure, you can even select the time uh, and day that you want this to update to make sure the data is always fresh. The other thing I want to show you is that you can combine your data sets with either another data set from the same data connector or from a totally different one. So in this case, uh, if I'm working with that sales pipeline, I might say I actually want to combine this data with some marketing information that somebody else on my team is managing within Google Sheets. And as long as there is a primary key or some identifier that could connect those two different data sets, Data Hero will actually allow you to go ahead and combine those data sets together in one place. And so all of a sudden now, with this combined data set, you can see that with this primary key, company ID, I've got all of my sales data coming from that sales pipeline in Smartsheet combined with a marketing Google Sheets document that has all of my conference registrations for an upcoming marketing conference. And you can, you can easily see how I'm going to go into this dashboard where I had already created a chart in the past. You can see how you can start to do some pretty interesting things with a combined chart where now I'm looking at sales revenue by salesperson split out by their attendee status for my upcoming sales meeting, a sales conference for that matter. So a couple other interesting things I wanted to sh share here. Um, there are a couple ways to share this beyond just PDF. You can share this through, uh, share a chart through email so you can send um, a link to anybody who has access to your team account uh, by email or, or with a public link or you can also embed a chart on a third-party website or blog or corporate wiki and really just with three lines of code you can embed that into something like a corporate wiki where you, all of a sudden you have a dynamic interactive always updated chart that your team members can look at without having to log into another solution right in the places in which they're already looking and already managing their data. So that's really it for the demo today. Um, we'd love to have you on the platform. We do offer a free 14 day trial. So go ahead and go to datahero.com and sign up for the trial. Uh, and love to have you on board. Thanks.